Hey guys, my name is Tom Harris and I'm a uh, hairdresser of over four decades. And I'm here today at Stu uh, Steven's studio and we're going to do this great layered haircut that you guys are all going to love and you're going to want to use on your clients every day. So today we're going to be doing some concave layers, a very easy technique. We're going to be working from the right side of the head into the center back and then the front of the head to the center back again. So I'm going to turn this now so you can see better. So our first section that I'm going to be taking is a diagonal back section, moving away from the face. And let's keep our sections really clean. Um, the best way for every haircut that you do is always executed and is so much easier when you're working with very clean, understandable sections. So we're going to work first by elevating this hair and um, elevating it into a layer. I'm going to come up off the head at 90 degrees and you're going to take your first section depending on the length that you're looking for. This is not layered at all and not uh, framed in the face at all right now. So we're going to do our framing with layers. So I'm going to look and see where I want that to fall. And we're going to be opening up the front a little bit so she has some movement. So I'm going to take this hair and, and comb it straight up off the head at 90. And my finger position and arm position are going to be very important. I'm working from a shorter length up into a longer length. So this is coming straight up off the head. And my first section is going to be approximately about six or seven inches. And I'm working from shorter to longer. I'm just going to cut straight up in the air. Then I'm going to take the hair that's down below there in the front of that section and include it into that first initial section. Not too much is going to have to come off. So if you, if you remember this position, arm up, you're moving in the direction that you're cutting. So let's look at that real fast. Okay, so right now we have a nice length that's right below her chin working down into her longer length. So the second section is directly the same section working right in back of that. So we're going to take that section with number one. I'm going to comb that up into the air and my finger position is the same. My elbow is the same. If your elbow is not up in that position, you will not have the right angle of this haircut. So it's straight up, elbow up, shorter to longer until you reach that longer length in the back that comes up to the top. And the best thing about this is that you're going to get the right amount of movement in this longer haircut. Uh, you're not overly layering the hair and the girl walks away. Everyone who gets this haircut ends up saying that it's the, it's the perfect layered haircut for long hair. So I'm working now, same sectioning, working towards the back of the head. I'll take a little bit of what I cut in front of that and the new section, which is my third section and continue in that same motion. So the things that I like to really pay attention to, the things that I love is accuracy. So I'm using the fine end of my comb. I'm using my section. I can see that perfectly. My elevation is up at 90. And I'm just taking that all the way up to the top of the head. Concave layers are really good for using on longer hair. Moving back towards the back of the head, we're now gonna be going from the top of the head down into the nape area. So now there'll be a little bit more hair included in this sectioning. So I'm taking that hair that I didn't need and bringing this all back up to the top, working from that original guide from shorter to longer. And now I'm bringing the hair down from the back up to the top. But one last thing that we do now in the back area is, yes, we bring this all the way up to the top, but for that to be a little bit of a better blend into the longer hair, I'm going to take the hair from the occipital area out from the head and cut a little corner off, which is going to create a better blend of layering into the back area. It just blends it nicer. So now I'm in the back area, I'm going to continue. Um, my, like I said earlier, we're working towards that center back. And these sections are all the same. 
uh, your motion is the same and if you continue working and using your body position and your arm position, this is the easiest haircut to follow. So I'll bring that hair up at 90. You can see my elbow is up in the air. I'm bringing all that hair up to the top. And like I said to you earlier, we take the bottom section after you do that, and you're gonna bring it out from the head at the occipital area, and you're just gonna take off that little corner right there. Now I'm at the last section in the back, which reaches the center back. So again, last section, comes up, there's my guide. Elbow up, body position is in great. Uh, you're standing straight and there's nothing that's gonna affect you doing this haircut long term because you're using good body position and good arm position. We're gonna take that section out and take off that, that little corner. So that's your first side of the haircut. If you look at what you've just done and put your hands through it, you'll start to see the hair move. The length is maintained, yet there's movement and framing happening around the face. Uh, and it's all done in the air. And when you're layering a face frame opposed to graduating it, it's gonna be lighter and it's gonna move a lot better. Okay, so now we're gonna move to the opposite side of the head. At this point right now, I stood in the front on the right hand side of the head to go from shorter to longer. That's what the body position required, working from the front all the way to the back. If I did this on the opposite side and stood in the front and did the same thing, my body position would not work. So what we're gonna do on the, on the left side is we're gonna be working, we're gonna be working from, um, from the back at this point. So we'll be taking sections exactly like we did on the right hand side, only we're gonna be standing in back of the section and you'll immediately recognize the body position that you should be in on the opposite side of the head. So again, the first section is a diagonal back section. It's from the front hairline. We're using the center part. You can do this on the side, but for this demo and for this model, she has a lot to say about it. She's gonna be wearing a, a center part. So now I'm gonna drop down this a little lower, because I'll be working on top of the head. And this section right here is gonna be my clue for the left hand side. I'm just gonna take that little piece off. I'm gonna take this section, I'm gonna comb this straight up in the air, picking that clue up, and watch. There's that same body position from shorter to longer. My body stays straight, I'm really comfortable while I'm working. That gets brought straight up in the air at 90 and we're working from shorter to longer, once again. Very simple, very effective, and again, when we're layering a face frame, that front section, that front hairline, when you're up in the air at 90, when it drops down, it's very soft. So I'll go in that same format, diagonal back section, directly in back of section number one, keeping this hair all out of the way. I'm coming in back of that section. I'm combing the hair directly up off, off the head at 90 degrees. There's my section, elbow up in the air, working from shorter to longer. By, by creating this shorter to longer feeling, you're gonna maintain all your length on the bottom and you won't overly layer the hair. Okay, so I'm moving backward as I'm coming back towards the back of the head. Remember what I said earlier. It was from front to center back, and now this is from front to center back. You know, when I'm in the salon, I love haircuts that are really easy and have great results. I'm sure when you see this finished, you will feel that way. So again, I'm standing in back of the head, up off the head at 90, there's my guide, there's my elbow up, telling me I'm going in the right direction. A lot of times when people, um, you know, they're doing their work and they're cutting their haircuts, um, the techniques can be a lot more complicated than need be. 
This is very, very simple. Now, as we did on the opposite side, we're moving into the back of the head. So I'm gonna have that hair that moves down into the nape area, where we're gonna to have to take that corner off after we do the first part of the concave. So this is gonna come up. This is gonna be combed directly up at 90. And we're gonna be cutting from, from shorter to longer. And you do this until you run out of hair. And now I'm gonna come out straight out from the head and take off that little corner. Very easy, very comfortable, and the results will be awesome. So I'm moving towards the center back. I've got about two more sections to go. I move right in back of my section. That gets combed straight up at 90 degrees. I'm working from shorter to longer. You know, I always think that repeating yourself is very good for the learner because if someone's learning something and they hear it over and over, it starts to actually set in. And before you know it, you're remembering. I have a problem. My learning skill is I have to watch and see. Um, and I can remember it. It's the same thing with cooking. I love to, I love to cook as well. And I'm with recipes and watching other people cook. When I'm watching them put a meal together, if, um, if they repeat themselves often, I will remember it. Okay, so I'm at my last section here, guys, and it's in the back. This is right down the center. I'm gonna be getting, um, this is my last section that's needed to be cut on the left side. Again, up to the top of the head. There's my guide. My elbow is up. I'm bringing that hair to the top. And then once I get that there, we're coming out at 90 degrees out from that hair, that, that part of the head, and taking off that little corner. So just for a precautionary check, what I love to do is take a little bit of the left, a little bit of the right, in the shape of almost like a V shaping, and we're gonna bring that to the top to make sure that everything is equal. Let's see what we got. Yeah, there's really nothing coming off. So this, this technique could not be any easier. And as you see, when we finish it, uh, the results are beautiful. Let's check that out from the head. There's really nothing coming off. And I've just completed the haircut that I think is really one of the easiest haircuts and we call this the easiest layered, soft, beautiful, long head of hair. Okay? So we're gonna set up for the blow dry and we'll be with you in a minute. Okay, so after we did this uh, volume blowout, we wanted to put a lot of movement into the hair, create some really soft uh, movements and nice body in the hair. I'm taking a little bit of smoothing serum and uh, just working it through the hair just to keep it really soft and beautiful. This haircut at every different length does incredible stuff for you. You know, the technique is the same. You know, you're going to, you can really place this anywhere you'd like and create a real strong, fashionable shape. Um, but the layers are beautiful. Um, the bottom stays nice and full. And every client, I guarantee you, every client that you, you create and use this haircut on will come back and tell you how much they love their hair. I mean, just look at how beautiful that is. It really just has some great body and the shape the face the framing in the face is not done with graduation it's all done it's all done with uh, with layering so I love 
sharing techniques that are quick and effective. Let's get that little piece out of our face. And I hope you guys really had fun with this today because I did. And uh, when you're in the salon and you're, you're looking for that technique that just needs to keep long hair long and you put a great shape onto it, uh, choose this fabulous, one of the best layered techniques you're gonna use on longer hair. And I thank you guys for a fabulous day and I hope you enjoy this every time you use it. Have a good one.